I believe in keeping the things we already have socialized, socialized, but with more transparency. I think we need socialized medicine, socialized utilities, socialized prisons, socialized housing for those that need it. And there are some other things I could probably think of if I put enough thought into it. But I don't want to change our entire economic model. I don't think we should change our whole social model either. I don't think we should have socialized automobile making or smartphones or uh, or food or luxury items or entertainment or similar. I'm on the left, but I'm a class reductionist that still believes in capitalism. We on the left don't appear to be telling anyone, especially those on the right, the limits that we want on a whole bunch of things besides the kind of regulations we want businesses to have or regulations on our speech. Some people seem to want our speech to be regulated. Not a huge percentage, but there are many. Yet we should probably start talking about those limits those of, of things other than what I just mentioned. Even if it's too late already, because, I mean, as I've already said, the ball is rolling in an ugly direction. We need to show people that we have some standards that we can all agree on, that we do believe in some roles that we can all agree on, and that we believe in abiding by a number of social rules that we can all agree on. And these things can't be based on the progressive stack. You're not going to get people to agree on that. We need rules that are consistent for everyone, you know? Consistent rules that apply to everyone equally, not equitably, because that's just not possible, but equally, yes. To be blunt, I, I, we've become too permissive in certain areas, and it's hurting us. We're not drawing lines on behavior in a number of other areas unless it has to do with the behavior of people on the right. Unlimited behavior for our side, strict behavior for people on the right. Let's look at the subject of abortion. Most of the time, when Democrat politicians talk about limits on abortion, they, they basically say, well, it's up to the mother and their doctor. In actuality, I think most people on the left would probably agree that, you know, if it's, there's a 70% chance that the baby will survive outside the womb, yeah, it's probably too late for an abortion. And I'm betting that even with my saying that, there will still be people that will say, well, no, no, it is up to the mother and their doctor. We need standards. We need to show people on the right that we're just not going in an endless direction, unlimitedly. This isn't to say that we won't change our views on those standards, that those standards might change in the future when we get new information. But we still need to show them that we have standards right now. Standards that we can all agree on. Things we can agree on. Wow, what a concept. Let's find the things we can agree on. Isn't that a great idea? We can't just keep so much stuff open-ended, or they're going to assume a lot of things about our positions, mainly that we think it's, there should just be no standards, no rules, no roles. And it's just like, yeah, yeah that's, that's not our position, but that's what they're going to think it is if we don't make it clear that uh, we have standards. Same thing when it comes to what we can teach kids in public schools. We need to show the right wing that, yes, we do have limits as to what they can teach. I mean, right now, it's pretty much a free-for-all in, in most states, at least for our side anyway. In most states, there's nothing really stopping teachers from being activists or teaching the kids to be activists. I mean, as long as it's in one direction anyway. I mean, if, if a teacher mentions something religious or right-wing in nature or something like that, it's, they'll be like, oh, no, you're indoctrinating. But the other side, oh, no, no problem. Oh, there we go. And I understand that we want to teach kids to stand up for themselves when they've been wrong. Yeah, that's a good thing. We definitely should be teaching about critical thinking. And we should teach kids not to treat others like crap for simply being different. But we have no business teaching one ideology or another onto the kids. I mean, most of the time, the deflection to this is, oh, well, that's not really happening. And then it goes to, oh, well, that's, that's not happening very often to eventually, uh, oh, well, they're not saying anything that isn't true, to eventually it's, you're an extremist. Nope, apparently we should have no limits as to what we're able to teach to the kids, as long as it isn't abusive or uh, religious or conservative in any way. Hey, how about shoplifting? New York has a great idea on how to, uh, how to stop shoplifting. Yes, let's... 
Let's make it easier for the people who do first-time offenses. And then let's just put up a bunch of kiosks that uh, uh, talk about social programs that, that they could maybe find to help them. Yes, that's that's their answer to to shoplifting. Yes, they're going to they're going to go the route of uh, Portland and uh, San Francisco, right? <laughs> no, it's not it's not totally in place. It's something that that their people are suggesting, but it's ridiculous, right? And it's still it's this, this is, these are not ideas that would ever come from the right. It just it just wouldn't happen. OK, it's stupid. We look downright batshit crazy to people on the right at this time. We look completely nuts to them. We seem to have absolutely no ability to self-reflect on what our side is doing or what it looks like our side is doing. When I talk to so many fellow leftists, they don't even seem to care that we look bad. They're completely unconcerned, as if none of this has any possibility of building up resentment on the other side. They're convinced that it doesn't matter what we do. It's this notion that, well, the people on the right, they're going to do all this nasty stuff no matter what we do anyway, so it shouldn't matter. Just double down. And I'm just like, that's, that's a really stupid stance. People on the right don't want to have a lot of conversations with us because we'll often go into power and privilege and intersectionality and, and diversity. I mean, we might as well be clapping our hands going, diversity, diversity, come on, everyone, diversity. To people on the right, we have absolutely lost our collective minds. We've lost the plot. To them, talking with us is like trying to talk to a clown. Actual clowns. How can we show them that we're reasonable? Are we reasonable? Well, we have to prove it to them, if we really are reasonable. If we jump up and down and say, we are being reasonable, like, like uh, the BLM activists did at the Bernie Sanders uh, rally in Seattle and... Uh, uh, Bernie didn't stand up for himself, and that's probably one of the things that made him uh, uh, considered unelectable by a number of people. Yeah, doing that sort of thing, jumping up and down and saying we are being reasonable doesn't make people think you're reasonable. So yeah, at least half the country thinks that we're completely nuts. How do we remedy that? Somehow force a bunch of people to be educated in a bunch of areas? You know, through propaganda and coercion in hopes that it'll change people's minds? Diversity seminars? Re-education camps? Maybe we could tell them to check their privilege some more. I'm sure it'll help. And yes, I do fully understand that a lot of people would change their minds if they were educated about a lot of things. But this applies to anyone. I mean, this goes without saying. In the meantime, people have the education that they do. And the people who are alive today are the ones that we have to deal with. Yeah, I know, it's a real drag. We have to work with other people. We have to try to understand what the other side is doing and why they're doing it. Right now, they're terrified of potentially losing control of society. And terrified people can be like terrified raccoons when they're cornered. If we really are in the right, we need to show them why and how. We need to show statistics that back up our side. Can we? Are we really in the right? Are we really being rational and logical? Are we taking human nature into account when we push for a utopia that can't exist? Things are never going to be like the lyrics to John Lennon's Imagine. We're not going to abolish religion. We're not going to get rid of all the borders all across the world. We're not going to get rid of uh, personal belongings and possessions. At least I hope not. But we need to prove to them that our values are superior to theirs. If we can't and we keep acting like we are superior in our views and our in our values and all that, and we corner them, we should expect them to act like raccoons that are cornered. This is a battle of dominant values and beliefs. Who's going to come out on top? The shadow knows. Ew, that was terrible. 